TLC, the learning channel. Are you being educated kids? This is like a renaissance for me. I love TLC. I've been looking at these videos forever and I feel like now I just, I've got the energy. I've got the fortitude. I've got the will to push through to enjoy these TLC videos to their maximum capacity. So today I bring you a very special love story about a man named Nathaniel and his car chase. My name's Nathaniel and I'm in love with my car. My name is Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. I love what they do with the music in the show. They're definitely not doing this guy any favors. It's like, hey, I'm Nathaniel, just having fun, living my life. Then it gets all creepy banjo, like backcountry rapey, incesty song, you know what I mean? And I fuck my car. Damn, help the guy out. It's already creepy. He doesn't need the weird, creepy banjo, man. That's not gonna help him. Help the guy out. Keep the uh, cheery music going. Good morning, baby. My handsome man. That is a shocking cut, I have to say it. That is, that is shocking. It's hard not to play the creepy backcountry incest banjo. God damn, get a fucking room, dog. What, you just fuck your car out in public like that? That's a lewd. What's he doing under that hood, dude? I'm getting a little turned on right now. Good morning, baby. My handsome man. Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. Chase, you little flirt, you sexy beast. You grabbed a good one, Chase. You really bagged a good one. Good for you, Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. Love you, baby. It was love at first sight. His body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. And I just felt an instant connection. I gotta tell you, Nathaniel, I don't wanna be offensive. Some people might be offended by this, but I feel like I just have to say it. Not that attractive of a car. Maybe I'd stick it in once and then never drive it again, but that's it. I would hit it and quit it. If I were you, I wouldn't settle down for that, Nathaniel. But goddamn, if he is this attracted to this car, what happens when he like passes a McLaren or like a Ferrari on the street? Does he just whip his dick out and like, like a drive-by like dick rubbing, you know what I mean? He just whips it out and he's like, <laughs> this guy should start a, a car wash company. I think he'd be killer at that. We have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by Ario Speedwagon. The favorite date would be going to the lookout area. Just lean against him a little and just be with him mainly. Love you. But Nathaniel's relationship with Chase goes beyond dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. Does that feel good? Fuck. Those like horrific stings they play, like that creepy violin. Does that feel good? You're handsome man. Does that feel good? They're like, okay. Now this is the part you, when you get sexual with the car. What we want to do is set you up with really creepy lighting and we're going to pipe in some really terrifying sound effects, okay? So go ahead now. It's going to be really creepy, so play into that. He's like, that sounds fair. That sounds like a good depiction for me. I'm really glad I did this. You're handsome, man. Mm. Love you, baby. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that and uh, and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that. This guy's like, you know what? The world is finally gonna understand me. I'm gonna come out. I'm proud, I'm in love, I wanna tell the whole world. Meanwhile, the producers are like, creepy sound effects, creepy lighting. Portray this guy as a fucking menace to society. Look, it's the Learning Channel. We come here to be entertained, not educated. God damn. One of his more bold positions is for me to be underneath him. There's something about that bumper kiss, man. He's under there, he's working the gears and shit. He really likes that. It's very special to make love to Chase. I'm not gonna lie, I do miss Hila. It's been a long time, Hila's been gone several days now, and I gotta say, Chase is looking better and better. Gotta kill to get that in the fifth gear. Yeah, 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 yeah! I am worried for my friend, because it's not normal, and you may have people that don't understand and make fun of you. Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him. Wait, him? This guy's been gay the whole time? That's twisted. You can fuck all the cars you want, 
but homosexuality is a sin against God. That's blasphemy. I'm sending you to Jesus camp to fix your homosexuality so that you can grow up, be good in God's eyes, and fuck a female car. Damn it, Nathaniel. I feel like he actually comes from a really religious part of the country. Is this like a, the weirdest way ever of him trying to come out to his like religious parents? I am fucking a car. What? You lessen the blow, right? You're like, whoa, what? hold on, you're fucking a car? And I'm gay also. So that kind of slips through the cracks. And then maybe in a month he could start sucking dick and everyone's like, well, at least he's not fucking a car anymore. It's kind of genius. If something were to happen, Chase, I, I, my heart would just stop. I just have to gather myself here. I'm sorry for all this. I guess the reason I don't tell a lot of people is because I don't know the response I'm going to get. I always worry about that little bit of disgust that somebody may have. Right. The main reason he doesn't talk about it is because he's worried about how people will react. So he figured a good way to come out about it was to make a video with TLC for 7 million people so literally everybody in the world can see it through the lens of the learning channel who plays creepy music every time he kisses his car's wheel. Does that feel good? Love you, baby. This to me is probably the best way to come out. Very well executed there. Nathaniel. I'm not a name, but I'm Nathaniel. But Nathaniel's biggest fear is how his relationship could affect his career as a customer service technician. I mean, if everybody found out, I'd be worried that it may affect my job. If everybody found out, it would affect my job. You're, you're on TLC, why are you doing a documentary? Keep that shit to yourself, I think. Oof, I feel bad for this guy. I'm sure everybody he knows has seen this now. Fuck, that's brutal, dude. But I love him to death. I, I wouldn't trade him for the world. Good night, baby. I love you. Does he really love the car if he doesn't sleep in it? Lovers sleep together. I don't know if I'm taking this guy seriously. Is he fucking other cars? Is he attracted to humans? Nathaniel asked me to come up here. Basically, he had something that he wanted to tell me. This is like straight out of uh, King of the Hill. Damn it, Nathaniel! What is wrong with that boy? I don't know exactly what it's about, but I'd like to know uh, what's going on in his life. Yeah, there's something pretty important I want to talk to you about. All right. Um... I'm, uh, I'm just going to come out and say it, I guess. I'm in an uh, intimate relationship with Chase, um, sexually and emotionally. You're in an intimate relationship with your car? Yes. Does that feel good? You're a handsome man. Woohoo! Man! Now this is television. TLC knows how to bring it. You know this was their idea too. They're like, look, that was interesting. That was cool. But if we're gonna put this out and pay you, we're gonna need to spice this up a little bit. I'm gonna have to get your estranged father out here for you to tell him on screen. He's like, no, 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 I don't really wanna do that. Nathaniel, we're the learning channel. We do everything we can in the pursuit of learning and knowledge. We need your dad out here to confront him on television now. Or how are people supposed to learn otherwise? By the way, look how his dad is touching that car. Damn, is that sexual? Like, do you see that? Do you usually? Have you ever hold, held a car like that? Like. Woo! You're in an intimate relationship with your car. Yes. And sexually with your car. Yes. It's your car. Yes. Meanwhile, his dad's like, You've driven me in your car several times. You know that jizz is covering every inch of this car. God damn it, Nathaniel. Nathaniel, you have a responsibility. You cannot let somebody come and sit in that car and not disclose that you're in an intimate loving relationship with that car. That ain't right. How does, I don't, how does that work? How can you have sex with a car? Mainly it's just a lot of just rubbing up against him. Um, okay. Um, certain, and it involves masturbating as well. Thanks for the details, son. Good to know that you masturbate in this car. Just ahead of nowhere, and it includes masturbating as well, dad. All right, son. Well, nice to see you. See you again uh, in five years. Help me out. <laughs> when did, I mean, this started, it, uh, it mainly started when I was younger. I just didn't have a lot of friends. Dad, I had no friends. And so therefore, obviously, I started fucking my car. Pretty direct correlation, you know. You know how it is. Have no friends, you fuck a car. You know how it is. I just started having those feelings more and more after I hit puberty. And it just became more and more serious after that as far as the sexual side and the emotional side. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I like my motorcycle, you know, and I like my cars, you know, but I mean, I. I they're cars to me. Right. They're not a sexual object, I guess, yep. as you see them, right? I right. mean, was it because I wasn't, wasn't really around? 
We just couldn't spend a lot of time. To, well, I mean, we you were, know, I had to stay with mom pretty much all right, the time. Right, I moved away and I wasn't around But you. I'm not blaming you for that. But I know that it has something to do with it. I mean, I feel like it has part to do with it. Not all, but part. Because I wasn't around, wasn't there for you. I mean, it's your fault. You know, I wish I could have been there for you and your sister more. I understand. Damn, that turned into like a really beautiful, tender moment between father and son. I have to say, he took that with grace and understanding. That was, I'm kind of touched, like, damn, I wasn't ready for that tender, beautiful moment. By the way, you know he jizzed in that bucket of soapy water he's washing the car in? That's the secret ingredient with the soapy water. A little, you know what I mean? Gives it that great little perfect shine. Ooh. When me and his mother divorced, um, the town that we were in just, there was not a lot of work. So the only way was to move off. But, you know, I wish we could get closer. I wish there was more time. It seems like there's a long time that goes between visits. Hopefully we can we can get on a, a little bit closer relationship and I can try to figure this out. Whew, that was a wild ride. I gotta say, there was lots of ups, lots of downs, an emotional, touching moment there at the end. And you know, I goof on Nathaniel a little bit. The guy did make a documentary for TLC to come out of the garage, as they say. I say, stick your dick up that tailpipe, boy. Ride it all the way to Valhalla, man. Ah, mmm. You look, I just saved a bunch of money on Honey. How do you save money on Honey with Honey? I'll show you. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds the best coupons on the web so you always get the best price on everything you buy online. It does this by searching the web for every code for the website and finding the best one that saves you the most money and applying it automatically. I love Honey almost as much as I love my car. And that's a lot. Ugh. I bought sheets for Jack's films for his wedding and saved 359 bucks. In this case, it used code SPRING without us having to do anything. Don't tell Jack, he thinks I paid $600 for it. Click the link below to add Honey to your browser for free. Or go to joinhoney.com slash h3h3. It's free, takes just two clicks to install, and it's gonna save you money. What, what the fuck? Hila, Honey makes everything better. Prove it to the sponsors that honey makes everything better, Elo. Why back in here? And thank you guys for watching Papa Bless.